Hey, this is just a quick tip for you guys that are interested that are running Vue.js on Windows. I noted a, noticed a couple of problems that I was having with it, so I thought I'd pass this on. So the first problem is that I am using the bash on Windows with Windows 10 to try to get Vue.js work with the Vue CLI. And it works, but it has a couple of problems, and I'll show you guys. So I have a window here. And if I just type in view or npm run dev, it tries to start up the web server. This kind of window is kind of small, but I think you can kind of see it. Let me make it a little bit bigger. You guys want. So if I, here we go. So you see there's an error here, the E-I-N-V-A-L error. So that means that it's not able to find the network interface. And if so, if you're using Bash on Windows, you don't have access to the network interface. So it always gives you this error, and thus you can't load the web page. So if I try to load it, localhost, 3030, I cannot get. So that's a problem. So I did some digging around, and let me fix this. I'll put it back to where it was. For now. So that's obviously a problem. So I did some digging, and I found that basically the Bash on Windows OS network interface has a problem, like I was saying. There is a solution I came up with. So I created a file called, and I'll show you here in Atom. It basically, it does this try, it requires the network interfaces, but then it has a catch that if it has a problem, then it gives just an empty object here. So this will catch it if it errors out. So what I did is I went in into the, to fix it, go into the package.json file and you can do node-r and then I'll put in uwhack.js and I'll save it. So what this does, it tells it to load this file before it loads the dev server. So now when I do npm run dev, it tries to load. All right, compiled successfully. And if I reload this, great. So this is the page I have. I don't have much on here. I could bring back the hello. You can see it. So that's the next problem I've noticed. You can see here I'm changing things. Hello, server. And I'm saving it. And it's not reloading. And I noticed this a few other times, and I've seen some other threads of people not being able to get the dev server to load correctly or to do the hot reload, the Webpack dev server. So the second thing I had to do to get this working right is I had to go into the devserver.js and take a look at this option here, the dev middleware. And I added this watch options. And then I added an aggregate timeout. And I put that at 300. And then you can change, you can basically turn on polling for every one second. So I went and saved it there. So I have this watch options, aggregate timeout, poll. And I'll put this in the show notes at the bottom. And now when I run it, npm run dev, it loads with my little hacky thing for the network interface. Apparently, I've been told that this fix for the network interface stuff for Bash on Windows is going to be fixed in a, it's already in a preview for Windows 10. That's not been generally released yet, but it will be released sometime later this year. But until then, you'll have to do this. Then, now, since we have this polling option enabled, if I make changes, hi, it gets done right away. 
So let me delete all this and I'll save. And now we have 500 as we expected. I'm gonna delete this, saving. So it's really quick. Um, hello. It's reloading right away. So this is probably the better way to do it to do that aggregate 300 and then pulling inside the Webpack middleware so it works. Just want to guys give a quick tip. Hope that helps. If you like this video, please click the like button below and please subscribe. Thank you and leave any comments below if you have any questions. Bye.